on the 8th of November back in time. So let's begin on this very day in 1793 when the Louvre was opened as a public museum in Paris by the French Revolutionary Government. And if any of you didn't know this, prior to that, prior to it being a museum, it was actually a royal palace. So that was all that time ago in 1793. Also today, 117 years ago, in 1895, a German phys physicist, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, becomes the first person to observe X-rays, which was obviously a significant scientific advancement that would ultimately benefit a variety of fields, most of all medicine, by making the invisible visible. So did you know that, that X-rays were actually discovered in 1895, which was a 117 years ago. So that's a bit of history for us. Also today, in 1960, on the 8th of November, JFK becomes the youngest man ever to be elected President of the United States, which I thought was rather apt for this morning, following our local, not our local, sorry, um, our um, recent presidential elections in the US. He narrowly beat Republican Vice President Richard Nixon. Wow, what a little bit of history repeating itself. So that was JFK in 1960, youngest man ever to be elected as President of the US. He was also, apparently, the first Catholic to become president as well. So that's a little bit of history for us, and we'll come back to that feature again in a little while. So today, if you are travelling around on the trains, apparently there is great services on our Brighton line and our Oxted line, which is brilliant. So if you're heading to London from, from any of those areas, then and you're, you've got to catch that train, then obviously that's good news for us. Also, there are no instances on the majority of the underground services. However, there is a, uh, a delay on the Victoria line. There seems to be an incident at Stockwell. But apart from that, all services need to be, seem to be running well, which is brilliant. So if you're travelling around, hopefully your, your day will be, or at least start off, pretty non-eventful. There is other news regarding the traffic. As always, I must have to report that there is some problems on the M25 as usual clockwise between junction 9 which is the Leverhead junction and junction 11 which is the Chertsey junction. It's always the way. Every Thursday morning I report the same. So there seems to be some slow traffic there. So if you're heading out on the M25 this morning then please take a little bit of extra time if you've got to go around the M25 clockwise junction 9 to junction 10. So talking of history, I'm going to go a little bit back in time and I'm going to treat you wonderful listeners to a little bit of my history. I'm going to play you my wedding song. I thought it was rather apt because my husband's here with me this morning. as my special guest. So this is our wedding song that we had our first dance to. And uh, I hope you like it because it's got a special place for me. 